sana mpenzi mtazamaji wa runinga uipendao ya mwangaza na chukua hii fulsa kukukaribisha kwenye kipindi ukipendacho cha dhahabu ya ukulima na siku ya leo tumetembea katika county ya Kajiado na ambayo huongozwa na Joseph Orerenku ama mheshimiwa Joseph Orerenku na sasa tuko katika eneo la Isinya ambapo tunaangazia mengi kuhusu wakulima wafugaji wa ngombe na mbuzi Tuki, tukijua ama tukitaka kusikia kutoka kwao ile madhara ambayo corona imeweza kuwafanyia. Kumbuka kwamba unaweza wasiliana nasi kupitia mbili mbili tisa moja nne mbili mbili tisa moja nne ama kwenye tovuti yetu ni Mwangaza TV. Ni mimi na nahodha wako Wanjiko Bogo. Na msanti sana chief tumekuwa tukiangazia uh, mambo kuhusu ukulima hasa kwa hii county ya Kajiado na tumezunguka maeneo tofauti tofauti tukaongea na wafugaji wa ngombe tukaenda kwa vichinjio tukaenda kwa mahali pa kuuza maziwa Aa, na sasa hii tunashukuru kwa hii muda wako ningependa uji introduce useme weni nani thank you mm, my name is Arlaban mm -hmm. Karani mm -hmm. assistant chief for Ngirigiri sublocation mm -hmm of senior location in senior sub county mm -hmm. of uh, Kajado county and uh, i take this opportunity to welcome you mm -hmm. karibuni sana and uh, we can now proceed for any information that mm -hmm. you may require karibu tumezunguka sana na tumesikia malalamishi kutoka kwa wakulima huwa wengi wanalima hata kama ni hizi vyakula kama mahindi lakini hawapati mahali pa kuuza. Mm -hmm. Hii corona kwako imeweza kuadhili uh, kilimo aje? Mm, okay for for the corona effect. Yeah. Uh, okay, I will first state I think we have livestock yeah, sure. and agricultural. Eh? Mm -hmm. In terms of livestock, mm -hmm. I will give a small negative part. Mm -hmm. As uh, I understand, we have the Ministry of Agriculture Ministry. that's entitled to give all the details. Yeah. yeah. But uh, as far as this interview is concerned, and as far as passing the information is concerned, mm -hmm. mm, for livestock, actually, it has really, 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 really been affected. Mm -hmm. uh, given that uh, we do have uh, the the domestic and stock markets around across the county mm -hmm. mm, for instance um, we have buyers for beef keeping mm -hmm. that uh, depend depend on livestock that they normally buy at Kajiado at Bisil mm -hmm. specifically mm -hmm. and also in Kajiado mm -hmm. and also at Isinya mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. these restrictions uh, given that uh, Isinya sub county lies under the metropolitan mm -hmm. uh, borders, eh? uh, you find that uh, there is that restriction or cessation movement. Mm -hmm. Given that uh, some other clans who normally depend on this uh, beef from Kajiado, uh, from Nairobi, mm, at least 60 or 70 percent have been affected a lot. Um, in terms of affection, uh, there's those requirements that they need to meet and most of them are, are unable to get those licenses, to get all those permits, mm -hmm. uh, leaving them with no choice but to stay at their restricted areas mm -hmm. until now that uh, we see the, the normalcy or after these conditions come through. Okay. Yeah. And where exactly do the farmers from Kajia do supply their food? Foodstuffs. Normally, normally for the beef, uh, for the beef um, business people, yeah. they normally supply at supermarkets, Naivas mm -hmm. and some other big hotels in Nairobi. Uh, and now that, given that um, uh, it, the the president or the directive from the government yeah. that uh, they should they should obtain those licenses. And take and take all those mm, and take the meat to the tenter suppliers, mm -hmm. but you'll find it difficult uh, because uh, even the sources that they are getting this beef from, actually they are not turning up in numbers. 
So because now everybody is in video of the market, they'll go there and get infected. So you'll find so many people have actually uh, contained or maintained their stocks at home. Yeah. And is it only the curfew affecting the farmers or even the restriction from going to the other counties? Is it affecting the farmers from this county? Yeah, both are. Both are, the mm -hmm. curfew and the restrictions. Because normally, uh, at, times, at times, people are not that much persistent. Eh? Uh, you'll find that somebody will come today, mm -hmm. he was unable to go, and uh, you'll find that somebody just loses hope. So they'll just go back home and stay until bring all these things to get through. Okay. Yeah. And you as a chief of this area, mm -hmm. uh, what measures are you taking to ensure that your people don't go hungry? Um, okay, we are trying to raise with the ministry concern, mm -hmm. especially in, in connection with the county government, mm -hmm. the livestock department. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are trying to come up or uh, to try and have our, our work frame mm -hmm. that at least will assist these farmers to access their markets mm -hmm. and uh, being able to supply whenever they are required to. Okay. Yeah. And uh, to the point that we have uh, reached now, uh, do you have hope with the government that it will, be it will be able to contain coronavirus? We do have 100% trust to our government. Mm -hmm because uh, uh, there are those measures at least that have been outlined mm -hmm. we need to follow them to the letter and uh, as far as um, facilitation and any other thing that will, that will uh, require for this situation mm -hmm. uh, I will guarantee or I will say that um, it has really done whatever measures that is required mm -hmm. to contain this situation mm -hmm. Um, I think a few or a while ago, our president has spoken mm -hmm. and actually he has stipulated and outlined uh, strict measures and um, any other thing that might be required mm -hmm. to contain this situation at the moment. So I trust that each and every individual of us mm -hmm. will going to follow those instructions, mm -hmm. will get to follow those guidelines that the government has, has outlined and actually, I am certain that we'll get through this. Mm. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Chief. As we continue, uh, there is another question. Uh, we've visited uh, some farmers here at Kajiado and found that they have uh, modernized their ways of uh, dairy farming. Like, as you know, in Maasai, there are those cows that uh, you usually find them grazing. But nowadays, uh, we found that they are and they have upgraded to dairy farming what has brought or uh, what has led to this mm, what has led to that um, modernization mm -hmm. eh? mm, uh, i think from our heritage or from our chronological uh, hierarchy mm -hmm. um, you find that we normally had big cows uh, so many of them and it was purely meant for prestige. Yeah? But uh, as days goes by, mm -hmm. now prestige has turned into something to do with uh, financially, financially sta stabilization. Mm -hmm. uh, to that, I will talk to people have come to embrace uh, certain moderns or certain methods of employing themselves. And that's why they have impressed uh, dairy farming, dairy goats, uh, as far as going to an extent of having poultry farms in their in their in their homes, mm -hmm. in their farms. Um, to that, I would say it's a matter of um, uh, the world is changing. The world is changing, and people are tend to go as per the time. Seasons are changing, time is changing, so everybody is trying to cope with the current situation. Uh, and to that, uh, I will say it's something that will get to secure food security. And also we have availability of those markets for the poultry and for the milk. Now given that uh, as people are growing, population is growing, and uh, we tend to have the consumption of whatever that have been produced mm -hmm. in the farms. 
Isinya town is really growing. Kitengela it's there. And uh, the availability of Namanga Nairobi um, Highway that was done an upgrade 2008. It has really, really, really affected so many businesses. People had to expand. People had to think of way of living. And uh, people have become actually self-employed in terms of uh, having to work in a dairy farm, having to work in a poultry in a poultry farm. Uh, it has created other opportunities as, as well as stabilized food security. Yeah. And what is also leading to irrigation to some of Maasai people? Yeah, irrigation, irrigation, that's one thing I will advise, I will really wish to express to our government mm -hmm. to look into or to invest into it. Mm -hmm. uh, Maasai's are known to have big lands and actually they still have. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of us now to utilize that big land for us to be able to get um, uh, into irrigation or to, mm -hmm. to get crop farming. Uh, in terms of um, that for farming I would really encourage us to have societies, to have groups, and uh, actually even to invest in circles that normally deals with uh, crop farming or agricultural products. Mm -hmm. um, back 1990s, AFC was available, that is Agricultural Finance Corporation, but we really didn't have so much to learn from them. So if there's a way or if there are measures, maybe they can uh, refinance the farmers mm -hmm. so as at least for us to get the crop or the farming thing at large. Okay. Yeah. And how is coronavirus affecting the whole country in terms of food security? Mm, I'll talk to that in terms of limitation because yeah. uh, some of the foods I think um, they're normally being brought okay. from the Tanzanians, um, like tomatoes, onions. Uh, now that is these restrictions, at least you will tend to get uh, this low supply. This low supply on that, and uh, even uh, people from Muranga County, Kimbu County, then they normally have their lorries fearing different types of crops to Isinya markets, to Kitengela market, to Kajiado market. Mm -hmm. Now that there's these restrictions, uh, many of them have not been able to cross to the restricted areas. Yes. I would like you to take this opportunity and talk to somebody from Kajiado, maybe he or she is watching you. Mm -hmm. and maybe he, he or she feels that uh, the life is going to an end. Uh, bearing in mind that uh, Kenya is trying to fight coronavirus pandemic and most of people have lost their jobs. Um, they normally say in every calamity there's an oasis somewhere. Uh, this is a situation whereby everybody is feeling it, including the whole world. So it's not only Kenya that's being victimized by this. It's not, it's not only Kajiado it's being victimized by this virus. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a matter of us taking the hope. It's a matter of us to be strong. And it's a matter of each and every uh, individual of this country and of this uh, county of us mm -hmm. to have hopes and to pray that uh, God will actually rescue us from this. Mm -hmm. um, I would really wish to quote from the Bible that uh, from Exodus 14:14, 14, 14, just be still and God will fight for us. And eventually, what I believe or what I tend to believe mm -hmm. that is just part of a season and it's going to an end. Okay. Yeah. And in this area, are people taking measures that the government has put to to fight coronavirus, like wearing masks, sanitizers, keeping social distance? Are they are your people doing the uh, yeah. following the rules? Actually, they are. Yeah. 
in, ev in each and every uh, home or homestead that mm -hmm. we visit today, mm -hmm. they do have uh, that washing washing hands, mm -hmm. uh, jerry cans or something. Mm -hmm. We do have uh, the sanitizers, mm -hmm. and uh, also um, we are very lucky mm -hmm. that we have certain NGOs, eh? mm -hmm. certain NGOs which are coming up mm -hmm. to create or to manufacture mm -hmm. the disinfectant mm -hmm. for them for free. Mm -hmm. So actually, it's an encouragement, or it's now easy for them now to contain or to adhere to the guidelines provided by the government. Okay. Yeah. My bonga, and I Thank you so much, Chief, Thank for you. your time. Karibu. I appreciate it. Thank you. Habari <laughs> Niko na kama miaka ya sita sasa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, kama... Na kwa kibiashara, mm -hmm. sasa hii Kenya imekumbwa na janga la corona. Mm -hmm. Kabla corona ikuje, biashara yenu ilikuwa aje? Biashara yetu ilikuwa sawa kabisa. Mm -hmm. Sababu tulikuwa na wateja. Mhm. Mm Bado tunaweza kusia mifugo. Mm -hmm. Tangu corona ianze, mm -hmm. wateja ni kama wa kila mtu wa wamepotea mm -hmm. kulingana na hali ya corona ama kuogopa ugonjwa. Mm -hmm. Hivyo sasa hii biashara mm -hmm. imeenda chini kulingana na vile ilivyo hapo mbele. Mm -hmm. yeah. Na ngobe ni kuletewa mnaletewa ama nyinyi ndio mnaendeanga kwa wakulima? Tulikuwa tunaendea mm -hmm. kwa zile masoko kama ya bisil. Mm -hmm. Lakini tangu corona ianze soko mm -hmm. imefungwa. Mm -hmm. Zile tunapata pata moja moja ni zile wafugaji wa wanaleta mm -hmm. wanaleta ngombe yake kwa soko mm -hmm. anauza lakini si nyingi kulingana na vile ilivyo hapo mbele. Mm -hmm. yeah. Na wakati yako kwa na corona mlikuwa mnachinja kama ngombe ngapi? Na mnachinja kama ngombe 50 40 mm -hmm. mbusi 100. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Na zote zilikuwa mkichinja zinaenda zote. Zinaenda zote. Mm -hmm. Zingine tunapeleka kwa mawada. Mm -hmm. Ile zimabagu tunapeleka bama. Ok. Yes. Na saa hii mnachinja kama ngombe wangati? Kwanza leo kama imechinjwa ngombe sita. Mbuzi ifiki eh, kama kumi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Na ngombe zeni mnasupply wapi? Mkichinja mna, mna, mna supply wapi? Maeneo gani? Tuna supply kutoka isenya, eneo la isenya, kajado, mm -hmm. baga narubi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Na pahali imefikia saa hii nyinyi nyinyi wenyewe kama wafanyikazi wa hii slaughter house mnaweza kukimu mahitaji yenu ya kinyumbani eh sio wote wanaweza jikumu kimaisha mm -hmm. kulingana na hali ilivyo juu zile tegemeo tulikuwa tunategemea ni mfugo mm -hmm. kama hakuna mali ya kuuzia mm hiyo -hmm. inaleta shida yes. na hasa ni nini imewafinyilia sana na hii corona imefinyiliwa kwa sababu tumefungiwa masoko ambayo tulikuwa tunapata ngombe za za kuchinja ama mahali tunauzia. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Shukran sana kwa muda wako. Yes. Kampenzi mtazamaji huyo amekuwa ni Jackson Ole Sapol na ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa Isinya Slaughterhouse. Na tutakuwa tukiendelea kuchukua maoni kutoka kwa wafanyikazi wengine ambao wanafanya kazi kwa Isinya Slaughterhouse kama mitamboni. Na mwabadi yako Noah Ngotiek. Uh, ni mzuri sana. Uh 
mimi ni mfanyi kasi wa hapa uh-huh. na hii slaughter house imeanza miaka mingi iliyopita uh-huh. na ilikuwa si tunaona kama ni ofisi yetu sababu ndio inatulisha uh-huh. lakini tangu janga la corona ingie uh-huh. tumekuwa na shida mingi tumefunga uh-huh. hata saa hii uone mbusi hapa ama ngomba hapa sababu ya hiyo shida ya corona uh-huh. na watu wetu saa hii wanatabika kile tu tunaomba serikali ya rais wetu mpendwa uh-huh. uhuru kinyata uh-huh. ni atusaidie sisi wa masai sababu tumepata hiyo janga la corona uh-huh. na hata kama uoni watu wa watokezi sababu vile wanafuata amri ile wameweka ile ya lock mambo na usiku wesi wana watu lakini tunaomba tu asidishe se, uh, wa, askari sababu ya maduka ya watu kama sehemu za kitengela kuna shida uh-huh. watu wanaibwa usiku na pia tunaomba rais wetu angalie hizi eh, maboda sababu tunaona boda ya namanga ndio inatuletea shida na kama inaleta shida hapa lazima tuongee sababu ndio tu, sisi ndio tutapatwa na hiyo janga na tunaomba rais aweke asitize watu ama serikali watu wa serikali ama askari uh-huh. ili wafanye kazi sababu si tunafanya hapa kazi vizuri pamoja na viongozi wetu kama kiongozi wetu eh, eh, wa hapa ambaye ni eh, council wa hapa ama ni eh, mbunge wa hapa mm-hmm. wa county council mm-hmm. Joshua Uluweza mm-hmm. tunafanya kazi na yeye mzuri mm-hmm. na ni mtu hapa kama hapa ni kwao na tunashukuru hata tunakaa na mzee wetu James mm-hmm. na hatuna shida yote lakini ile shida tuko nayo mm-hmm. ni mambo ya corona mm-hmm. tunaomba tu wasimamie mambo ya boda ya namanga mm-hmm. sababu boda ya namanga ndio inatuletea shida mm-hmm. hiyo boda pamoja na ile ya Lutopto mm-hmm. na hizi zingine ya pande ya Eh, eh, ya magadi ile mimi nilikuwa tu nataka kusema mm-hmm. hao watu kama wanaelewa they are keeping social distance mm-hmm. wanafaa hiyo mask sababu mm-hmm. hata ukiangalia hapa wanafuata sheria vile rais wetu amesema mm-hmm. ama vile eh, eh, CS wetu amesema mm-hmm. we help mm-hmm. tunaona kama kasi inaendelea vizuri mm-hmm. kwa hivyo ile tunaomba wasimamie inji yote kwa jumla sisemi Masai land peke yake mm-hmm. lakini the whole country in general na niko na swali yes uh, tuseme hapa kuna wakulima wengi sana wenye wanafanya ufugaji wa ngombe mm-hmm. sasa hii ngombe zao wanapeleka wapi kama nyinyi mnachinja ngombe kama tano kila siku sasa hii iko shida ndio sababu nilisema mm-hmm. ni mzuri rais uh, rais wetu mpendo angalie pia mm-hmm. saidi ya Kajado mm-hmm. kupitia viongozi wetu mm-hmm. kama mheshimiwa Uluwasa yeah. na wengine mm-hmm. apitie ili tupate usaidizi sababu hiyo mm-hmm. ndio tunataka okay. sababu tunataka uongozi ambaye ni iko wazi mm-hmm. kwa hivyo na, najua wakituma sababu najua wa, kama uone watu wetu hapa wako ndani lakini wako na shida mm-hmm. na tusiposema shida yao mm-hmm. hakuna ule atafikishia atatufikishia e, shida zetu kwa rais mm-hmm. na kama nimepata hii nafasi mm-hmm. na mwambia tu rais ongera mm-hmm. na ongoze nchi yetu ya Kenya vizuri mm-hmm. lakini asimamie upande zote za nchi ya Kenya hasa kwa hii janga la corona shukrani yes. sana kwa wakati Thank wako so Fahamishe majina yako. Mimi naitwa Joseph uh-huh. Leleina, uh-huh. mwenyeji wa Isinya. Uh-huh. Miaka Isinya kwa miaka nyingi tangu utotoni. Uh-huh. Nafanya bihara hapa karibu miaka 30. Uh-huh. E, lakini arije wana bihara imeanda chini kama wakati wa corona. Na wakulima wa haswa hawa wafugaji wa, wa, wa ngombe ama wabuzi wameadhirika kivipi na hii corona? Wameadhirika sana mm-hmm. juu sisi tulikuwa tunategemea soko ya boma na mm-hmm. uh, huko soko ya Nairobi pale tunapeleka order mm-hmm. tunapeleka hata saa zingine huko Kajado nyama mm-hmm. lakini wakati hii janga la corona imekuja mm-hmm. ni affect sana juu sasa unajua kila mahali imewekwa imewekwa mpaka mm-hmm. sasa ameadhirika sana mm-hmm. alafu tulikuwa tunategemea sana sana soko ya kwenda huko Bisil mm-hmm kwenda huko magadi mm-hmm. na tumefungua na ingawaje tumefurahia juu pande pande hii janga la corona imekuwa nyingi sana mm-hmm. lakini wameadhirika sana na kazi yenu mnaweza kufanya aje uh, ikilinganishwa kuwa ikifika saa moja kuna kafi mhm uh-huh. uh-huh. kazi yenu mnaipangaka aje sasa sisi zinafanya kazi tu kidogo kidogo mm-hmm. juu president wetu honorable uh, Kenyatta mm-hmm. alikuwa ametuambia ikifika saa moja mm-hmm. watu wote wakae kwa manyumba yeah. na tumefurahia anyway kabisa mm-hmm. ingawaje bihara imeanda chini juu watu wa, wa, wale wanapanda kula nyama mm-hmm. ni wale watu walikuwa wanapanda kunya wanakunya pombe mm-hmm. nyama wanakuliwa sana na watu wanakunya pombe mm-hmm. sasa hii bihara ya nyama imeanda chini sana mm-hmm. wakati 
hiyo biashara imesemekana na watu wafunge saa moja. Mm -hmm. Sasa ile kitu tunakuwa naomba rais kama ingewezekana mm -hmm. at least ikifika asonge si maneno ya kafi kidogo ifike saa mbili na nusu. Mm -hmm. Saa 3 tuangalie kama biashara itakuwa afadhali kidogo. Na kwani ni masaa ngapi nyama mnauza sana? Ni ni asubuhi ni afternoon na nusu. Nyama inauzwa na saa sana, sana jioni. Uh -huh. watu unajua pombe na na nyama inaandamana sana. Uh -huh. Sasa sasa hii wakati ya nyama imekuwa imeanda chini mm -hmm. juu ya sasa wale watu wanakula nyama ni wale tu wadogo wadogo wanapeleka kwa nusu mm -hmm. ama kakweta kupeleka mm -hmm. nyumbani kutengana sana watoto wake lakini sasa hii wakati mm -hmm. biashara imeanda chini sana okay. yes nimeshukuru sana kwa muda wako asante sana asante. Asante. na brother majina yako kamili ni gani majina sangu naitwa Jackson Lekapa uh -huh. Mimi mfanyi biashara wa hapa. Uh -huh. Hasa wow. unafanya nini hapa? Ah, uh, mimi ni mchinjaji. Mm. Niko na butchery. Mhm. Uh -huh. Tunasafirisha nyama. Uh -huh. yeah. Na kazi yenu iko aje sasa hivi wakati huu wa corona? Kazi yetu imeharibika sana. Uh -huh. Imeenda chini sana. Uh -huh. Kwa mfano kama mtu kama mimi uh -huh. kwa siku nilikuwa nauza kilo mbili. Kwa sasa uh -huh. nikiuza mingi ni forty. So unaona kasi imeharibika uh -huh. kwa sababu tumeadhika na hiyo ugonjwa wa corona. Uh -huh. yeah. Na kuna 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 jambo lolote wa mnaweza kutaka kufanywa dio biashara irudi ama mnaweza fanywa aje? Tuna jambo mingi tunaweza fanywa kwa sababu uh -huh. for example ukiangalia watu kama wakaji wa Kajiado county. Yeah. Uh -huh. Naweza sema 85% tunategemea mambo ya ufugaji kwa sababu sisi tumelelewa kwa mambo ya ufugaji. Uh -huh. Na ukiangalia tumeadhika For example ukiangalia kama soko ya Bisil mm -hmm. imefungwa. Ukienda Sultan imefungwa. Ukienda Magadis imefungwa. So wakaji wa hapa mm -hmm. naweza sema wameadhirika wingi sana kwa sababu wamefungiwa chakula yao mm -hmm. kwa ufupi. Mm -hmm. yeah, kwa sababu tunategemea mambo ya mifugo, mm -hmm. kulisha familia, mm -hmm. kujikimu na mambo mengine ya mahitaji ya kimaisha. Mm -hmm. yeah. Na nyinyi mnatumia mambo gani kujikinga na corona ikizingatiwa sasa mna, mna, mnafanya kazi kwa chakula? Tuna Na kuna zile sheria serikali imeweka kama kusanitize, kuweka social distance. Nyinyi mnafanya aje kama wafanyikazi wa Isinya Slaughterhouse? Tunafuata sheria uh -huh. kwa sababu tuko na ofisa wa health. Uh -huh. Tunafuata sheria vile serikali walisema. Uh -huh. Tunafaa max, uh -huh. tuna sanitize, tuna sanitize mikono uh -huh. na mambo mengine kama hayo. Uh -huh. Na tunaheshimu vile serikali walisema. Uh -huh. Kwa, kwa mfano mifugo mingi tunaendeanga Bisil mm -hmm. Sultan Magadi na unaona hizo masoko zimefungwa mm -hmm. so inamaanisha tumeheshimu vile rais amesema mm -hmm. na tuna tunafuata sheria ya serikali wakati corona ilikuja Kenya mm -hmm. kampuni mingi zileweza kufungwa na watu wengi wakapoteza kazi huku kwenu uh, Isinya Slaughterhouse kuna watu wanaweza kuwa wamepoteza kazi wengi sana kwa sababu sasa yule mtu anaweza fanya kasi hapa mm -hmm. ni yule mtu una, un, kwa mfano ule wale asilimia uh -huh. asilimia 55 wamepoteza kasi. Uh -huh. Wale watu wanafanya kasi hapa ni wale wako na mabushari uh -huh. kwa mfano kama huyu na wale wako na pesa yao. Uh -huh. Sasa wale walikuwa wanategemea kwa mfano wale tunaweza sema brokers wale wa kubroka mbusi uh -huh. wamepoteza kasi. Uh -huh. Asilimia 55 wamepoteza kasi. Uh -huh. Sasa wale wanafanya kasi ni wale wako na mabushari uh -huh. wana wana pesa yao uh -huh. ya kujimulia uh -huh. na kusafirisha. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Na haswa shida ni kafiu ama ni lockdown ama ni shida yenu sana ni nini? Shida. Mm. Shida unaona sasa wale watu wa wale tunawalipelekea anga nyama. Nyama unaweka kwa butchery, mm -hmm. mtu ni nyama atanunua ama ni unga atanunua. So unaona kwa mfano kila mtu ameameadhirika. Ame, ame mm -hmm. Kiuchumi Kenya mzima. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ningependa uangalie hii na, kamera na, pengine hata gavana wenu anawaona. Na ingine uh -huh. Tungesema kwa serikali ya Kajiado County mm -hmm. wachukue jukumu kulinda wakaaji wa Kajiado County. Mm -hmm. Tunaweza sema tunashukuru sana governor mm -hmm. kwa sababu amejitokeza, amesingumza na wananchi lakini viongozi wengine wako wapi? Kajiado County tuko na wabunge watano. Tuko na Peristobiko, Memusi mm -hmm. na Sunguya mm -hmm. na Kato. Mm -hmm. Lakini wawaja isungumza. Sisi kama wakaaji wa Kajiado County tungewauliza tungewa wako wapi na kwa ma, kwa ma television ama kwa tv tunaona viongozi wengine Kenya wakijitokeza na kuzungumza na watu wao wanajitokeza kulinda wa, kulisha watu wao 
lakini swali sisi kama wakaji wa Kajiado county viongozi wetu wako wapi tunaomba hata kama wako kwa mafia tofauti saa hii mambo ya fiama ama siasa waweke kando waangalie maisha ya wakaji wa Kajiado county lingine tungeuliza rais wa Kenya uhuru mwegei kinyata sisi kama wafugaji tunasikitika sana kufungiwa soko kama ya bisil soko kama hii ama soko singine za wafugaji lakini mpaka ya, ya Kajiado na Tanzania kwa nini hiyo mpaka isifungwe na wale watu watadhirika saa hii sana sana ni wakaji wa Kajiado county kwa hivyo tunaomba rais wa Kenya kwa heshima vile alivyofungia wafanyabiashara wa Kajiado county kufanya kasi hata wale wanaosafirisha bidhaa kutoka Tanzania kuingiza Kenya tunaomba ifungwe mara moja kwa sababu anatarisha maisha wakaji wa Kajiado county Asante sana. Shukran sana kwa muda Asante. wako. Shukran. Shukran sana mpenzi mtazamaji umekuwa kitazama kipindi speciali na tulikuwa tumetembea katika kaunti ya Kajiado eneo la Isinya na umesikia mararamishi kutoka kwa wafugaji na wakulima. Na hapo ndipo tutaweza kuweka kikomo kwa kipindi chetu cha leo hadi wiki ijayo panapo majaribio yake Mwenyezi Mungu. Bye bye.